the young Indian squad captained by Surikumar Yadav will look to make a mark as they take on South Africa in the first match of the four-match T20 International Series on Friday. Take a look at our pre-match report. In a four-match long series, which will see a rematch of the 2024 T20 World Cup final, South Africa are preparing to host the Indian unit, which will travel captained by Surya Kumar Yadav, but full of names that they will look to for the future of the team in the format. The teams have undergone substantial alterations compared to those that competed in Barbados, where India secured victory with a seven-run margin. India's squad features only four players from their World Cup winning team as the majority prepare for a test in Australia. The team will be captained by Surya Kumar Yadav, followed by Abhishek Sharma, Sanju Samson, Rinku Singh, Tilak Verma, Jitesh Sharma, Hardik Pandya, Aksar Patel, Ramandeep Singh, Varun Chakravarti, Ravi Bishnoi, Arshdeep Singh, Vijay Kumar Vishyak, Avesh Khan and Yash Dayal. The South African side will be without key performers from their World Cup campaign, including pace bowlers Kagisu Rabada and Andrik Norkia, spinner Tabriz Shamshi and wicketkeeper batsman Quinton de Kock. The squad will have Aidan Markram as captain, Ottenil Bartman, Gerald Kodsi, Donovan Ferreira, Riza Hendricks, Marco Janssen, Henrik Klaassen, Patrick Kruger, Keshav Maharaj, David Miller, Mihali M. Pongwana, Ankaba Peter, Ryan Rickelton, Andile Similane, Luto Sipmala in third and fourth match, and Tristan Stubbs. The first match of the four match series will be held on Friday in Durban, followed by the second one on 10th of November in Kebarha. The third match will be held on November 13 in Centurion, and the fourth T20I will be held on November 15 in Johannesburg. South Africa will have plenty of firepower with names like Hendrik Klaassen and David Miller being led by Aidan Markram and will want to give their home fans a good show. In a T20-only series, these matches are sure to provide plenty of high-paced and powerful action with plenty of big hits and big scores. India's players will be looking to hammer home a spot in T20 teams with plenty of spots worth fighting for. In particular, Top order batters like Abhishek Sharma and Sanju Samson will know a strong series will make them favourites to step into the shoes of retired big names in the team. Sports Desk, TT India. And to talk more about the T20 series uh, against South Africa, we have with us Narayan Singh. Narayan, including that final match, South Africa has, have lost uh, five of their last six games in the format. India have won ten of their last dozen T20Is and tied another. South Africa have struggled in, the, in this format post the World Cup. So India are also in a transition in this format. What can we expect? Uh, Tanvi, talking about this match, uh, we can call it a grudge match as you mentioned that uh, South Africa lost to India in that World Cup final where they were in a dominant position and uh, uh, South Africa needed 30 runs of 30 balls with 6 wickets remaining and the way India balls, especially Hardik Pandya and Jaspreet Bumrah, they snatched the, the victory from the jaws of defeat by uh, scoring, by playing a very disciplined cricket in that match and they just, we can say, deprived South Africa of that uh, coveted trophy. And in this match, if you take a look, India is coming uh, to this match after a fantastic 3-0 win against Bangladesh in the T20 format while in the test cricket they were whitewashed against New Zealand in the 3 match series 3-0 but this team is totally different from the test match series because the test match team will go to Australia for, for the Border Gauska Trophy and here totally we can say that a new team as you mentioned the T20 cricket is in transition phase after the retirement of the Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli Ravin Jadeja and now the way Suri Kumar is handling the thing is quite we can say the, the way he started and won the series against Bangladesh hopefully they will repeat that performance here also against uh, the South African team considering the form as we know that in the last six matches after the uh, World Cup defeat at the hands of India they lost a series 3-0 against West Indies and drew a series against Ireland so at this ground particular ground at the Durban 2 
they don't have the happy memories last time they were whitewashed they were whitewashed by the australia at the particular venue where all the three t20 matches took place but all in all uh, a lot of uh, we can say that uh, for the different seasons this series is very important especially for the sanju samson he got multiple chances for the india and the series against bangladesh what a fantastic knock he's played a uh, 111 run he scored of 47 balls and now he will try to replicate that performance in this series also and talking about the other matches especially the other man that is abhishek sharma for the hyderabad franchise the way he played the, the way he revolutionized the batting top order batting in the ipl and i also scored the century in the second t20 international match against zimbabwe so after that he couldn't uh, do much his highest score in the last six innings is 16 so he will also try to just uh, boost his confidence by playing some good knocks here okay so high hopes from sanju samson as well request you narayan to stay with us